This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Lawrence, the mild-mannered comedian who leads an exciting double life. For when Lawrence sees an inequality, an amazing transformation occurs. Lawrence Clark is Spastic Fantastic! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. So, for some time now, I've had this little obsession about charity and why we give. It all started a few years ago when I was on a holiday in South Africa. I was waiting at a bus stop, minding my own business. Kind of done it off, really, a bit tired. And I heard this jingling sound. When I looked down into the sun hat resting on my lap, someone had thrown coins in. In other words, I spent two and a half grand on a posh holiday to South Africa, and yet I looked like the one who needed charity there. So, with this in mind, I devised my own hidden camera social experiment. I wanted to see what would be the most ludicrous, preposterous, fake charity cause that I could get money for on the streets. I'm boy with this fun. Pay off my mortgage. Pay off my mortgage. Pay off my mortgage. So you really don't want to pay off my mortgage, you don't want to do that, really. <laughs> <laughs> so you really don't want to do that. Look at what it says, it says pay off my mortgage. You don't want to do that, do you? No. Yes, I do. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was fucking fighting them off. <laughs> so obviously what I did just say is a little bit illegal. Yeah. Technically, you're not meant to just make up a charity and go out onto the streets with a bucket. <laughs> Therefore, my next one, said the bonnets, please don't put money in here, as I will get a criminal record <laughs> if you do. <laughs> so what are we thinking here? Do you I've got money in this one? It's over the hands again. Who thinks yes, that will work? <laughs> yeah, we're beginning to see how this works, so... <laughs> Who's thinking no, no way? Oh, uh, yeah, you'd like to think so, so, wouldn't you? <laughs> cool. Radical. 
more extreme. Of course, nobody would touch with a barge pole. Therefore, my final book is simply set up on it. Tell the hubby. <laughs> so, obviously, it's a hard to tell this time. Who thinks I can get money on the streets to kill puppies? <laughs> Pretty much everyone. <laughs> Fair enough, let's see if you're right. How much is that guy through the window? Oh, oh. The one with the wagon tail. Oh, oh. How much is that dog in the window? Oh, oh. <laughs> Down with dogs. Down with puppies. Down with puppies. Kill all the dogs. <laughs> You want to kill the boobies? You want to! Why do you want that? Why do you want this? Um, I've got my hip before. Uh, I'm just for you. No, but a couple of items I've got. And it's a little bit good for you, you can say. Actually, we'll see you about it. I'm so bored, yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, 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 I'm getting it, you know. You don't want to do this. No, you don't want to do this. Look in the face of that child. <laughs> the boy that wanted to kill that puppy. What I love there, what's beautiful, is the old guy. He's read to about 10 seconds, searching for the PC way to describe me, and a cripple of some sort was the best. The best that he could come up with. And then he gave me two quid to kill puppies. <laughs> <laughs> 